Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Wienerberger podcast. I'm Heimo Scheuch, the CEO of Wienerberger, and today I have a very special guest. It's our chairman of the supervisory board, and I'm honored to have Peter Steiner with us. Hello, Peter. Hello, Heimo. Uh, thank Peter, you for having me. Thank you for being here. You are regularly anyway in Vienna, and uh, we have the pleasure to meet, I think, nearly once a month. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's important. We, we spend um, a lot of uh, very productive time together and, and the success of the past actually, or at least it has contributed to the success of the past. I think it's absolutely, I feel the same. And during this COVID period, even when traveling was difficult, you managed to come even by car to Vienna. <laughs> yeah, a couple of times. A couple of times. Once I took a dog back to Germany, um, who grew up here in, in, in Schwechat. <laughs> so there's a strong link to That's Austria. There's a strong link. You know, I always keep talking to my dog as being an Austrian. <laughs> I hope you, you <laughs> take him as a good Austrian. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No, f uh, fine. And I think it's so important in the company that we have this communication flow because it helps us to overcome all sorts of challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think uh, today we have a unique opportunity that you are here because together we do an ESG roadshow. ESG is, I think, a very important subject and is close to our heart, isn't it, Peter? It is actually brought to us as a challenge, but I, I need to say that I believe it's plenty of, it provides plenty of for opportunities. Um, not only in terms of differentiation, also in terms of, you know, being able to do something for the future, do something for our kids, um, but also differentiate from competitors, use the, you know, the properties of our products, um, so there's plenty for us to do, um, plenty of us for us to do also to fulfill, you know, the external regulations. But even more important for us to do to make, you know, the best out of what we have. I, I can't agree more. And I think we have made great progress. I think all of the nearly 8,000, 18,000 colleagues have now contributed a lot to it and continue to do so. And ESG has become for us even a competitive advantage. And if I look today, when we talk with major investors in Wiener Berger, I think you would agree they they highly value our our sort of strong efforts that we have been undergoing in the last couple of years. I, I've heard a couple of times that we are best in class. They they were they dared to not spend too much time on the standard topics. They really digged into you know specific, and and actually wanted to learn you know how we approach it. Um, so so we are kind of a I would even say role model in, in, the, in those tasks. And you yourself, Peter, you spend not only time with me when we talk about strategy and development of the company, but you spend also a fair amount of time on the succession on, on the board of the supervisory board and your colleagues and work with them. Yes. Yes, I believe that um, a succession plan in place is important. Um, um, in any case, uh, for management, but also for the supervisory board, which includes myself, of course. Um, and, and I'm very busy to um, um, fairly and, and equally replace the good people that we have today on our board. I believe we have a, a huge amount of, of capabilities today, which, uh, which we need to, to keep in the future with other people to join. And people who naturally depart. Uh, and so I'm spending actually um, all year round with interviews um, to meet people. And I can tell you it's not, and you know it, it's not an easy task to find people that not only meet certain profiles, but also you know meet our kind of DNA requirements. And on top, you know, people we like because we are going to spend plenty of time with these people and we, we should like them in a way. It's, uh, it's, you mentioned some very, uh, for us, key values. I think respect and trust in people that is key for us as Wienerberger is also important on the, on the supervisory board. And, and if we look the last 10 years, our development, 
how strong we focused on growth organically, but also M&A-wise, the support that we got from colleagues, the help. It's so important, as you say, that also outside the meetings, we come together and discuss major issues of our industry and the development. And to find here the right people that fit in is key for the future development. Absolutely. I really believe that we should have um, certain skills that are important, which is sector expertise, um, finance expertise, um, there is digitalization. You can never have enough ESG expertise around the table, given the situation in which we are in and our ambitions that we have for the future. Um, but also, um, I, I, I'm fully aware of the loneliness of a CEO, if I may say that. Um, I've been one myself, and, and I know that there are ultimate decisions that need to be taken by the CEO, and it makes him somewhat lonesome. And if a CEO has in its board a number of people that share that view, they know what you know what's in the CEO's mind, they can be better sparring partners to him uh, or to her, when, you know, in the future maybe even. Um, so, so I believe that's an additional skill set that should be brought to the table. I appreciate that very much because as I, as I agree with you um, here, the fact that people have experience in this field of leading companies, going through difficult times and, for example, changing the footprint of a company is very key these days. And I think having this competence on the supervisory board is a great asset. Yes. But governance is not everything in ESG, it's also the E. Mm -hmm. in environmental and I think here we have made great progress and in the discussion with our shareholders we hear also that decarbonization, biodiversity and circular economy are important subjects. Yeah. I, I was pleased actually that they um, accepted our rather short-term goal setting. Uh, we argued that um, a short-term goal setting would um, come with clear objectives that can be measured and um, who would enjoy you know, certain targets that only need to be achieved by 2050, where we agreed that the both of us would not be there anymore. Um, so, so I'm actually pleased that they accept that, uh, find it as reasonable as we do. Um, and, and so um, I'm also pleased that we have clear targets for 2023 and are in a position to formulate the next step thereafter. And I think we are clearly committed to those uh, things and to make uh, the planet a better b place to live and to work on. I think that's a key objective also for Wienerberger with a clear vision. Um, next to this, obviously, diversity plays a big role in a company like others. And I, I think all of us, supervisory board and we on the managing board, are committed to it. I think you can also uh, confirm that, Peter. Absolutely right. We. We, you know, there's different ways of diversity. We, they talk about ethnics, they talk about gender. Um, um, I believe that gender is important to us um, and, and we are fulfilling it as we speak, but we intend to continue to fulfill it in the future, of course. Uh, ethnical um, diversity is of less importance to us right now. Remember, we are a company that has a focus on Central Europe, uh, Northern Europe and the United States, um, and and in so far, uh, we are not in Africa, we are not in Asia right now. So it's of a of a little less importance. Otherwise, if people bring experience to the table with these um, cultures, then it's also um, you know an add-on and, and, and a positive for us. Absolutely. If we look at our performance, because obviously this is very important. I think you had your first year as the chairman of, of Wienerberger now. Uh, it's going to be a record year for Wienerberger and uh, with great results and the best results actually in the history of the company. Are you happy with your first year? Uh, absolutely. I, I, would, I would not say that the record year is in close connection to my first year as the chairman. This would be a little bit overdone. Um, but uh, of course, I'm pleased um, that we had, you know, in these difficult times in the midst of pandemia, be able to, to continue to develop the company um, upward. And, and, and I'm actually very optimistic 
Um, with the future, I believe 2022 from today's perspective will also be a good year for us. Um, and, and so I'm, 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 let's move on. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. I think uh, one final uh, sort of question. What do you think are the major challenges ahead of us that you see from the supervisory board? Um, you know, I believe that that we should develop the company um, by participating on consolidation opportunities on the one hand, but also in developing further platforms that would provide additional room to you know, create synergy by further acquisitions. So both, I, be, I believe, is important, but we only would be able to not only execute transactions in that kind of area, but also, you know, make successful integration thereafter if we have the right talent uh, in our company. I believe it's going to be and continuously extremely important to find the right talent, to attract people to Wienerberger. And ESG, the environment we are providing, the the intellectual challenge we are giving, all for that, you know, attracts people to Wiener Berger. And actually also, if I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm optimistic. I would recommend young people to go to Wiener Berger. They can learn a lot. Well, I can't agree more. I think we have a purpose. We have a clear sort of objective to make the, the world a better place to live in and to help people in order to create a sustainable living within sort of new build, renovation and also infrastructure. Um, what you have mentioned to attract young people and young talent is a key goal for all the 30 countries that we are active in. And I really look forward, uh, obviously, together with you to beat the, the great results in 2021, also in 2022. So I think together as a team, and that shows very clearly that we are strongly working together to take this company forward. And uh, this is our major goal, I think, for this coming year, right? I'm absolutely looking forward to that very much. Love to and thank you for having you here and looking forward to this great year. Thank you for listening and uh, hope to see you pretty soon again on, on one of our podcasts. Thank you.